pretty early in the morning right now. However, the tide is high and I want to take this boat out for a quick test. I had to back out because, well, it's just my parking spot. I might need to make a new parking spot. All right, let's see, we got power. Let's turn on our fancy little switch. All right, that's low speed. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pedal. I'll just let the, the pedals go. Okay, we got low speed on right now. And we're definitely moving. Nothing spectacular. That's a good low speed though. Alright. Oh, hi son. Let's check second speed. Oh, that's a noticeable increase in speed. Oh, that's kind of nice. I'm going to pedal for a minute to see what it's like. Yeah, that's a decent speed. Alright. Let's go full power. Whoa! Now that... Whoa, man, when I hit the full power, that was a significant push. <laughs> Oh man, now we are moving in. Okay, I'm going to catch up with the light. Yeah, I don't know how fast it is. This is pretty fast. And supposedly, on this shock battery I've got up in the front, I should be able to do this speed for like two and a half hours. Which seems totally insane to me. That that battery, it's only like a 50 pound battery. It will it will go this speed for two and a half hours. That's, I don't know, that just seems crazy to me. Is that is that actually right? Man, this is moving. Let's check that out. Careful, I'm gonna my camera here. Even at this speed, I, I barely leave any wake in this boat. Just because it's so, uh, it's so streamlined. If someone was mentioning the hull speed, I'm gonna be having difficulty with on this boat. It's not that long, but hull speed doesn't apply to boats like this. I'm not gonna get into it, but uh, basically hull speed. You know, this calculation people have been doing. It's a really basic calculation. It only takes into, into account the length of the boat, nothing else. It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, this is, this is hot. And the motor's running really smooth, too. It's not, it's not that loud. I don't know how loud the camera's going to get up. The camera always picks up stuff louder than it is when it's motor. Uh, I, can, I can hear myself talking pretty easily. My pedals are louder. That's like rough gears that I made, you know, sort of by hand. Oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, this is so fast. I wonder how fast this is. I know this isn't that fast compared to like, uh, you know, a gasoline motorboat, but this is 
this is what a, it's a one horsepower motor. To get this kind of speed out of a one horsepower motor, oh, it's pretty sweet. My charge controller is not in the way of the of my sight too much, but it also gives me easy to see readout. Great. I'm gonna make a pick, pit stop and pick up some stuff. Just got back, the switch not hot at all. That's a good sign. And I've got 26.5 volts right now. Oh, 26.6? Oh, it was just showing 20, I don't know, 25 or 26.5 or 0.6, somewhere around there. Um, I just drove about two miles, maybe did a little bit extra because I was just kind of hot dogging around or whatever you want to call it but man this thing this thing is great uh, pedals are working great this everything's working great yeah now I want to put this boat in a in a better spot where it's parked right now I can only get it in and out when the tide is up but I want to make this my main driving boat so I want to give it a spot that it's that is easier to get it in and out of the water I'll have to figure something out there. I originally made this boat like six years ago maybe and it's never been complete until right now. Because originally there was a charging issue and the, the batteries were old used ones that I Frankenstein together so they weren't optimal and I don't know, there were a few of them. Oh, the motor vibrated a lot. That I just needed to fix the motor mount. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the first time that like it's actually like up to specs of what I was originally trying to make. And uh, man, it is awesome. Oh, I love this boat. I just need to get it a better parking spot. Where can I park it? Hmm. Well, that speed controller is awesome. It worked great. And the battery was spectacular. Now the real test of the battery will be like going on a long trip like to town, which I figure in that boat will take an hour and a half so like an hour and a half straight shot and then I'll really see what this battery is made out of supposedly according to the math it should be able to do two and a half hours straight shot with no charging I don't, I don't think I want to push it that far uh, even going to town I'll, I'll only want to do that when the Sun is out so I'll be getting some energy from the, the solar panels um, I don't need to destroy the battery but if it can get to town with no no problems. I'm going to be pretty psyched about that. And then back, of course. That's the thing. It's got to, got to go an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back. So it'll, it'll need some charging anyway. It'll charge some while I'm parked, and then also while I'm driving. So, uh, 
Yeah, I want to do that trip kind of soon. I want to do a few more test trips, shorter test trips just around here before I go, you know, miles and miles and miles. Just in case anything goes wrong, I don't want to be stuck like <laughs> like 15 miles from home. Um, but yeah, so far everything is looking really, really good.